Hi everyone, it's Lisa. Thank you for joining me. This is video number three in my craft room series. So if you happen to miss the first two videos of my craft room series, I will have those videos linked down in the description box of this YouTube video. So be sure to check those out after this one. So as many of you know, I've recently moved into a new house and I have a new craft room and I'm trying to get organized. So I did a little shopping on Amazon and I found some crafty organizational products I'll be using in my craft room and I want to share those with you today. You'll notice that the supplies that I'm showing you today, a lot of them are pink and that's just because I love the color pink and I'm going to be using pink to decorate in my new crafty space. If you happen to see something you like today, but pink's just not your color, don't worry because they do come in other colors as well. So I will have everything that you see here today linked down in the description box. So if something catches your eye, be sure to check down below. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first product that I wanna share with you are these M Design Plastic Slam Vertical File Organizers. I'm showing one here, but they do come in a pack of two, four, or even eight. You can get them individually as well. But these are great to hold cardstock. You can also store your notebooks, magazines, binders inside of these. They have a handle so it's easy to pull them off of your shelf or off of your desk. And they are made of a durable plastic so you can clean them easily with mild soap and water. They do measure 10 inches by 3 inches and are 10.7 inches high. So you can see here that I put my cardstock in here. This is my 8.5 by 11 inch cardstock and it holds a lot. I purchased the light pink color, but they do come in other colors such as light gray, clear, white. They have a darker pink, which is the rose pink, and they also have black. And if you like this light pink color, I did just look on Amazon right before I filmed this video, and they are out of stock at this color, but if you like the light pink, you can continue to check back and see when they will restock. So as I said, I like to store my cardstock in these vertical files, specifically my generic brand cardstock. However, for cardstock from specific companies like Spellbinders or the Stamps of Life, I do like to keep that cardstock separated by color and by brand in these clear plastic envelopes. I put the cardstock sheets in them along with any loose scraps that I have to keep them all together. They do have a button closure here on the front, so nothing will fall out. These envelopes are transparent, so you can see everything that's inside, and they measure 12.8 inches by 9.3 inches, so there's more than enough room for your 8.5 by 11 cardstock sheets. And these envelopes with the cardstock in them also fit in these M Design vertical files. So here's how I store the M Design vertical file storage. I have four of them in an IKEA Calyx unit, and each one of these cubes in the IKEA Calyx unit is 13 and a quarter inches. So I'm able to fit four of these M Design vertical files inside, and I still have a little bit of room left over on the right side. And right next to this cube in my Calyx unit, I have one of the Calyx inserts with four shelves. And that's where I store these plastic folders that have the cardstock separated by brand and color. These envelopes just slide right in and I can easily see all of the colors that I have because of these clear plastic envelopes. Another item that I purchased from Amazon are the Amazon Basics. These are collapsible fabric storage cube organizer bins. They come in a pack of six and I have the peony pink color and these just open up and then they have the insert for the bottom of the cube that you just unfold and then put at the bottom. So simple to just take right out of the packaging and open these up. These bins are pretty large. They're 13 by 15 by 13, and these fit perfectly in the IKEA Calyx unit. There is a little loop here that you can just pull them right out of the unit, and I'll show in just a minute how you can just insert these into the unit, and they fit perfectly. They do come in different colors. As I said, I have the peony pink, but they come in other colors as well 
well as they have some for kids rooms that have designs on them if you're interested in that but here's how you can just pop them right into your IKEA Calyx unit and they fit perfectly. So I'm going to open one of these bins up and also show you that you can store those clear plastic folders with your cardstock inside of these bins as well. So in this bin is all of my Stamps of Life cardstock. I have a mix of the clear plastic storage envelopes from Amazon in here as well as some envelopes that I picked up from Office Depot years ago. But you can see how they fit perfectly in these bins. Next, I want to show you these labels that I purchased for my baskets. This is a 32-piece set of white labels. You can also get these in black. So I'm going to go ahead and open one up here. You can see that they do come with a clip on the back that you can just add right on top of your basket. And then the front is just a flat, solid piece there of PVC plastic. Here's the clip. You just pull it open and slide it onto the front of your basket, and I'll show you that in just a moment. It also comes with two chalk markers, and these are black markers that you can write your contents of your basket right on the front. So I'm just going to write something here. I'll write cardstock because I am going to be using one of these labels for my cardstock bin. The product description says that it easily wipes off. So I'm just going to try that here. I'm just spraying some water onto it and using a paper towel. And mine's not coming off that easily. You can see there's still some marker residue left on that label. I'm going to come in here with a cleaner see if that will do any better and it doesn't but I decided to pull out my magic eraser and just wet it with water and believe it or not that magic eraser did work wonders as it always does and the ink came off and it looks like brand new again. I wanted to see how a Sharpie would work on this, so I just pulled out one of my pink Sharpies and just wrote some text here on it. And I took my magic eraser with some water and it did come right off. So that was really good to know because if I switch the contents of my bin and if I lose those markers that came with it or if the markers run out of ink, I know that I can always use Sharpies on here and then use water with my magic eraser to rewrite whatever the contents are in this bin. You can also, if you had a label maker, you can add a label to the front of this if you don't want your handwriting on the front or you can use your Cricut to add some vinyl name labels to the front of these white labels. So here I'm just going to add this to my box of flowers. I have a box of flowers here for props for when I take pictures of my cards. So you can see that I'm just going to open up the piece on the back of this label and it just slides right into the front of the bin. So here's a look at what that looks like in my Calyx unit with all of my bins at the bottom and I have them all labeled. Next is this desk pad protector and online it shows that it's used for your workstation. You could put your computer on top of it and it's not going to make your computer or your mouse or anything slide around on your desk because it is slip resistant but I'm not going to use it for my computer. Instead, I've decided that I'm going to use it to put underneath of my die cutting machine as well as my paper trimmer. What's nice about this is that this pad is going to keep my surface of my desk from getting scratches on it from these machines. The back of this pad is non-slip. It's made of a suede material so it's slip resistant and it doesn't move when I add my machines to the top and that's important because I don't want it sliding when I'm die cutting or cutting paper. The top of the pad is a durable PVC leather and you can wipe it off easily with a wet cloth which that was also very important to me because you know how when you do die cutting or you cut paper, you get all these little paper particles all over the place. Well, I've had a big mess over here and it was so easy just to wipe this clean. So when you get it, it does come rolled up just like this and you can just unroll it. And I purchased mine in the pink color, but it does come in about 22 different colors. 
and it also comes in four different sizes. And the one I purchased is the one that's 35.4 inches by 17 inches, which is actually the third largest size. There is a size that's a little bit larger than this. So if you wanted to store it away, you can just roll it back up and it does come with a little tie wrap and you can just tie it around and then you're good to go. Next, I wanna share with you this 32 piece plastic desk drawer organizer trays. And like I said, there are 32 pieces to this set and they do come in three different sizes and four different colors, black, blue, green, lilac, and pink. And I will be using these to organize some things in my large desk drawers. So they do come stacked just like you see them. And what's really neat about these is they have this little piece on the side that you can connect each one of these to the next. So you can connect the small ones, you can connect the small to the medium size ones as well as to the large ones. So that's what that little lip is there on the side. So the ones that I'm showing you here are the smallest size organizer trays. There are 18 of these. They are three inches by three inches by two inches. So I'm going to pull all of those out and then I'm going to show you next size which is the medium and these are much longer. There are 10 of the medium trays. These are 9 inch by 3 inch by 2 inch and I like these medium size to store some of my markers and different writing utensils. You can see again how they hook together. So I hooked the two mediums there and then I can take one of these small trays and I can hook it next to the medium and I can get get three different sizes of the smaller trays hooked next to the medium tray. You can use these not only for your office, you can use these in your kitchen, you can use these in your bedroom, wherever you have drawers to organize your things that are in your drawers. And the largest size is nine inch by six inch by two inch and you get four of those. And two inch is the height of all of these trays. So you need to have a drawer that's more than two inches high in order for these to fit. So I'm gonna show you how I use these in my drawers to store my craft supplies. But I also want to mention that I have used these also to hold die cuts. So if I'm working on a project that I have all kinds of little die cuts or even dies that I need to keep organized on my desk, I will use these for that as well. So here is one of my large drawers in my craft room and I'm adding some of the larger trays as well as some of the medium and then any room left over I'm adding some of the small in this drawer. So in this drawer I want to store supplies that I use often. So you can see I have one of the larger bins there for scissors. I also have some tools like a craft knife. I have the picker for the die cutting machine. Here's a bunch of little erasers that I put in one of the bins. I have some paper clips and some decorative pens. I have some adhesive that I go to often. I also have some tweezers and then I'm also going to store some of my computer stuff like my storage drives as well. So here's another drawer that has a bunch of ink pads and different ink supplies and I put a few of them in here and you can see that I have my ink blending brushes stored in them. And then this is my favorite drawer of all because I have all of my different pens in here. You can see I have them separated by types of pens. So my first bin here is the larger bin, which I have my Tombow pens, and then I have some Spectrum Noir metallic pens, and just a different variety. I have some of my white gel pens all stored in here. So it's so much easier to actually look and see what's in this drawer. I have some pencils up here, some miscellaneous highlighters, and since I didn't have enough of the pink medium size bins, I added this large teal bin in here and that is from Michaels. And I have that one to store all of my Sharpies. I'm also using a few of the larger bins in this drawer to hold some stamping supplies such as my acrylic blocks and then my stamping tools and then I also have a medium size bin to store the folders for my mini die cutting machine. 
For more drawer organization, I also picked up these iDesign plastic, they're kitchen storage bins. And even though they're advertised as kitchen storage, I like to use them in my large craft room drawers because the drawers are so big that I need to have little bins in there to organize some of my smaller items. So I have two different sizes here. They're both 16 inches long, and then they are either 6 inches wide as the smaller one and 8 inches wide as the larger one, and then they both have a height of 3 inches. So if you're going to use these in your drawers, you need to have at least 3 inches of height so that the drawer will close. But you can see that my drawers are pretty large, and just to put stuff in here, it needs to be organized. So I'm going to go ahead and use this top drawer for all of my glitters and embossing powders. So here I added one of the organizing bins. This is the larger one, the eight inch wide one, and I'm just putting all of my embossing powders in this particular drawer. And this drawer will actually fit three of the eight inch wide bins and then one of the six inch wide bins on the very end. So you can see I've been able to maximize the entire width of that drawer for storage. And then in the front of this drawer, I'm able to add those small pink drawer organizers that I showed you earlier. You can see that I can fit a whole bunch in the front of this drawer to fill up that wasted space. And I'm just going to use this drawer not only for my embossing powders, but then I'm going to use it for glitter and all of my embossing tools, such as my heat tool and any of the little embossing brushes. I have two full eight inch wide bins with glitter. And then that last bin has all the embossing powder. And then you can see I have all my powder tools. I have some embossing inks and different things in those little pink bins and I still have room left over. And just so you know that these bins, they do stack. So if you had a deeper drawer, you can totally stack them. Next, I bought a new stapler for my craft room. This stapler, of course, is pink but it comes in five other colors including purple, gray, black, and a really pretty mint green. So here's the stapler. It's a little bit smaller than a typical stapler, but it holds 120 staples and it does have a 25 sheet stapling capacity. It does come with a small pack of staples and there are 640 staples that are included in this package. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this up here. And of course, I'm gonna just staple a couple pieces of paper just to see how this staples. And I actually have some cardstock here that I'm stapling. So it's a little bit thicker than normal paper and it does a great job with the stapling. I'm gonna pull out a tape measure here and just measure so you can see how long it is. It is about five inches long. So if you're looking for a new stapler for your craft desk, this one is a great choice because it's not too big, it doesn't take up a lot of room, and it comes in some pretty colors. I also picked up this brand new garbage can for my craft room. This is an M design garbage can. It's made out of the same plastic material that the vertical file storage was made out of that I showed you at the very beginning of this video. So this is a very compact design. You can see that it is 12 inches tall by about 9 inches. And it does have a handle on both sides, so you can easily pick it up. And it's pretty narrow. It can fit in a small space. So it's about a seven inches wide. And this garbage can comes in about 10 different colors. So if you don't like the pink, there's lots of color options. And it also comes in either a one pack or a two pack. So next I want to share with you a three pack of pen holders. I purchased mine as a three pack, but you can get them individually. And I just want to 
quickly mention that the one there on the very left, the second to the bottom shelf, it is broken, but that's not a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and send this back through Amazon. Things happen when they get sent in the mail and that's totally understandable. So I'm just gonna work with these two here, but they do come in the three pack. But they do have five shelves. There's a very small shelf on the top and then four larger shelves underneath. So to give you an idea of how tall these actually are, I'm just gonna take out my ruler, and you can see that they're about eight inches tall by about three and a half inches wide. So they're not very big, but if you have a smaller pen collection, you can definitely use these to put on your desk, or if you just wanted to put these on your desk with some of your pens from your collection, just to add a little bit of color to your desk, you can totally do that. Here I'm just putting some Copic markers in here, which are a little bit wider than some typical pens, but here you can see that I was able to put three rows of four in here, and they do fit perfectly. I also want to point out that these slots are at a 45 degree angle, so it'll allow you to see multiple rows and exactly what you have in these slots. Here I'm just putting some Sharpies in here. Here I have some thinner Spectrum Noir metallic markers. And I'm just trying to hold these in a way that you can actually see what's in here. Usually on my desk, I would have it standing up straight, but I'm trying to turn it to the side just so that you can see what's in these slots. On the very top slot, you can add some sticky notes. You can also add some washi tape into the very bottom slot if you wanted to. And you can see that I have the pink color, but they also come in blue, clear, and yellow. Next, I want to show you this amazing pencil case. This pencil case is so large. If you're using it to store your pencils, it holds about 270 to 274 colored pencils. But I use it to store some markers, and I'll show it here in just a minute. But I'm showing you the front and back. It does have a zipper on the back and a pocket on the front. It does have a handle on the top so you can carry it. This pencil case is made out of a durable and wearable nylon cloth, so it's built to last. It has a zipper all around it, and when you open it up, it has all of these different slots that you can put your pencils or your markers in. I'm using it to store my Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers. And I didn't count how many I actually have in here, but I do have a lot of markers, and I was able to put two of the zig markers in each one of these slots. Now if you're using this for pencils, it says on the website that it can hold about three pencils per slot. So it does hold a whole lot. I have a few of these storage cases in my craft room. I have one for all of my zig markers. I have one for all of my colored pencils. And I have another one for all of my watercolored pencils. And I have another one for all of a different brand watercolor marker. So I have a few of these and it's just so easy to organize by brand if that's how you choose to organize your things. You can also store Copic markers in here, but I will say that you're not gonna get as many of the Copic markers in here as you do other markers or pencils just because they're much wider. You can see I can get two per slot, but I will say that when I put two per slot, it's very tight and the markers start not laying flat. So I don't think that you'll be able to get two markers per slot throughout this entire pouch. In fact, I don't think you'd be able to get two markers per slot in this entire sleeve. I think you can probably get it in a few of these slots and then maybe do like two markers in one and then one marker in the next one so that there's more room and they're not all crunched up together. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this up and I just use the zippers on along the outside and it will close this up entirely. So this makes it easy if you need to bring this set of markers or if you had color pencils, if you need to bring it to a crop or if you're going to a friend's house to do some crafting, you can always zip this entire thing up and nothing is going to fall out. This pencil case has six different design options in different colors, and the one that I have is the green rose style. 
So the next thing I want to show you is this Elizabeth Ward Bead Storage Solutions. It's a plastic storage tray organizer and you guys know how I love to make shaker cards. So I have a lot of little shaker pieces that I store inside of here. So this is what it looks like. It's a big tray that has some handles on the left and right side. It does come with two sheets of labels that you can write information whatever's in the container on there and then stick it to the little container but this is what it looks like there are all of these little storage containers in here and these fit the small little bags of sequins or clay confetti mixes here's an example of some pearls that i have in here but you can see how they're clear so you can see what's in the container they have this little notch on the side of it that you just pull up and you can open the top and take out what you need and it closes right back and snaps into place. I just use my label maker to label the top with what's inside of here. So I really needed this storage container because I have so many shaker pieces that I need to get organized. This is just a little bit of my collection. I have so many more that I need to put in here and I have a lot of room left over. I actually bought two of these bins because I know I have a whole bunch that I need to start organizing in these containers. But I just love how everything is in one tray and you can see everything that you have from this one tray. I have the 82 piece set, but I do want to show you, depending on your needs, there are other sets, but I want to specifically show you this one. This is another tray that has not only the small storage containers, but it also has some larger ones, as well as some medium sized ones, and then you see the small ones on the right. So if you had larger packs of beads or confetti mixes or sequins, that tray might be a better option. So so if you're interested in any of the products that you've seen here today, check the links down in the description box below. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.